All right, so in this problem, I have four to the power of x plus six to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm gonna divide both sides by four to the power of x. So I get four to the power of x over four to the power of x plus six to the power of x over four to the power of x is equal to nine to the power of x over four to the power of x. Now, 4 to the power of x and 4 to the power of x cancel out, so I get 1 plus 6 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, 6 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x is going to equal 6 over 4 to the power of x. And 9 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x is going to equal 9, to the, 9 over 4 to the power of x. Now I can simplify these fractions. So 6 over 4 is equal to 3 over 2. And 9 over 4, I'm going to rewrite as 3 squared over 2 squared. And I can actually use this property again for 3 squared over 2 squared. So that's going to equal 3 over 2 squared to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So this can equal... 1 plus 3 over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 3 over 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now, I'm going to let 3 over 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y minus 1 on both sides, these four cancel out, and I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this equation, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this is equal to positive 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. However, we're not done yet because we're not solving for y, we're solving for x. And remember how we let 3 over 2 to the power of x equal to y. So this gives me two equations. I have 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, as well as... 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, to actually start, we can already cancel out one of these equations, which is the right-hand one, because 1 minus the square root of 5 is going to be a negative number, and you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal a negative number. So this equation wouldn't even work. So the only equation I have left is 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this turns into x times log 3 over 2 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And now if I divide both sides by log 3 over 2, I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 3 over 2. 
All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm gonna first start by dividing both sides by nine to the power of x. So now this results in nine to the power of x over nine to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x over nine to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over nine to the power of x. Now nine to the power of x and nine to the power of x cancel out. So I get one plus 15 to the power of x over nine to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over nine to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 15 to the power of x over nine to the power of x, that's gonna equal 15 over nine to the power of x. And 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 25 over 9 to the power of x. And now, 15 over 9 simplifies to 5 over 3. And 25 over 9, that simplifies to 5 squared over 3 squared. So now 5 squared over 3 squared, that's going to equal 5 over 3 squared. Now I have this to the power of x. Now if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 5 over 3 squared to the power of x, that's the same thing as... 5 over 3 to the power of x squared. Now I'm going to let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y and 1 on both sides, I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So I get a quadratic equation, and to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. This is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, which is plus 4, all over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now remember how we let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 5 over 3 to the power of x equals to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this gives me two equations. I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So 5 over 3 to the power of x equals 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And a negative number divided by 2 is still a negative number. And notice how we have a positive number to the power of another number here. And you, ta you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to negative. So there is no solution for this. Now, for 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. To solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log... 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 3. 